Welcome back to Rob's Garage Woodworking. And today, I want to say something like Scarface and say, Hey, say hello to my little friend. But, anyway, I'm not Scarface. And uh, this is a little bit bigger than a little friend. So, uh, I've never used one of these before, so I'm going to give this a shot. What I'm doing right now is I'm actually going to tear up some ceramic tiles. And what I've done is I've tried to... Uh, to do it by hand and that really was quite awful so I'm gonna try this out and let's see how it goes okay so safety for this tool is earplugs and safety glasses maybe a mask if it gets dusty let's try this out That's pretty neat. What I'm going to have to do, I think, to get underneath it is turn this gun sideways. So I'm going to adjust my grip so I'm not hammering this uh, electrical cord against the ground. And so I can dig underneath it a little bit better. So on this tool, to adjust it, you actually push the collar, lift this collar up. and turn this to the side, which is really neat. To take this bit out, you have to push down on the, the release collar at the top only fits in the one way so if you want to rotate it around you have to actually rotate it down here and this all I can do is just loosen this off and then move it to where I want it which is about here I guess so I'll tighten that up we'll pull some more of these tiles now ceramic tiles are in properly they're really hard to take out so you can try to break them up first. I don't want to uh, get any cracks in my drywall downstairs of drywall the ceiling. So I'm hoping this won't be so bad. Anyway, let's try it again. Wow, that is way cooler than doing it by hand. Anyway, so I got this from a rental place and it was uh, 80 bucks for the day Canadian. So obviously cheaper in the States, but uh, yeah, pretty cool tool. Anyway, I'm gonna do that and I'll see you later. Thanks for watching.